Hi everyone! So today I have a tutorial for you guys. I know it's been a while since I've actually done one, or at least I think it's been a while. Um, someone a while ago requested that I do um, Meryl's World's both free dance and short dance look. And I have some time today and I'm borrowing Trey's camera. So it's always exciting whenever I get to use an actual real camera because like I can see myself from the screen right there. So it's just, I don't know, I just feel like it's better whenever you can actually see how you're coming across while you're doing it. I don't know, it's just more exciting and fun for me to do that way. So I figured since I had his camera, um, I would go ahead and do one of the looks. And I decided to do the short dance look as you can tell by the title. Um, I already did like my face for foundation. I used Rimmel's Stay Matte um, foundation in 200 Soft Beige. I believe they've gotten rid of this. I'm not 100% on that, but I don't think you can find this in stores anymore, which is kind of sad because I basically just bought this because it was so cheap because I guess they were trying to get rid of it. And um, it totally didn't match me before, but I've gotten so much of a tan, um, more so than I ever have this summer, that um, the 200 Soft Beige actually matches my skin perfectly right now. So that's my foundation. Um, I set it with the Stay Matte Press Powder, which I'm almost out of. I don't know. It should last me another month. Um, and then concealer is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind, and this is, I think this one's the medium, light medium. So there's that, and let's see. For contouring, I use the MAC Bronzing Powder, and then for my blush, I used Beauty Control's Peachy Keen. And it looks like that. It's very pretty, just a soft peach. And then over the top of it, I put the Bonnie Belle Glim, Glimmer Bronze um, and just set it over the top of my blush just to give a nice bronzed look in like sheen because this is shimmery. And I think that's all that I did with my face. So. I'll go ahead and get started with the tutorial now, I guess. Oops. Uh, first, prime your eyes. I'm using Beauty Control Shadow Control Cream. All over your lid, from lash line all the way up to underneath your eyebrow. I just love that I can actually see myself whenever I look up here. I'm trying really hard though to focus on the lens and not myself. <laughs> it's really difficult. Okay, so with Meryl's eye, I couldn't exactly tell the colors. I'm thinking she might have used a purple in the outer V, um, maybe a brown in the crease. I'm not sure. So this isn't... I wouldn't say this is exact or anything because I obviously don't know what color she used and it's really difficult to tell um, just because the lighting can change with um, if I were to look at it off of a video um, the lighting could be different and the like what it actually is and then with pictures obviously like you can edit pictures and the lighting can be so different in pictures that it can change the colors so I don't actually know what color she used but these are the colors that I'm going to use to try and get it as close as I possibly can. So, um, first, I'm going to use, where's my brush? Oh, first, I'm going to use Heaven by Too Faced, and it's just a um, matte cream color, and I'm going to use that as my highlight. And just apply it all around up here, right underneath your eyebrow and down to your crease, not in your crease. All right, and now I'm going to use Velvet Revolver, which is this like taupey color, oops, sorry. It's this like taupey color right here. I really love this color. 
and I'm going to place this all over my lid. Ooh, my lighting got really bad, sorry. You know what I can do? I can zoom in with this camera. So that way you guys can see my eyes better. I'll do that. Okay, so that's Velvet Revolver. Now I'm going to take um, from this NYC Individual Eyes for Green Eyes, like this little purple quad thing here. I don't know. They give you like a highlight and a base as well. But I'm going to take this color right here and um, just kind of apply it a little onto my lid and then up into my crease a little bit too. Okay, now I'm going to lightly take Sexpresso here, which is just a really dark matte brown. Um, I'm going to use the brush that I use to blend things with and barely, like barely, get anything on there, just barely tapping it in. Um, and I'm going to lightly go with this in my crease just because I don't want to get out a bunch of different shadows basically. Um, I just want to kind, kind of stay with like a palette or two. So go into your crease with this very lightly. If the color gets dark, blend it out. Okay, and just to pull some more um, of the purple from Meryl's dress, I'm going to go back with the NYC palette and use this color in my crease also with the same brush right here. This brush is by Eco Tools. It's called the Highlight Brush. Okay, and now I'm just going to take this, um, I clean it off, and I'm just going to try and blend this as much as I can. Okay, and now I'm going to take this contour brush by e.l.f. Looks like that. It's more, um, it's what I kind of use as a pencil brush, really. But I'm going to take this and the NYC palette here, and this darkest color right here is almost black, but it's like a purple black. So I'm going to take that and put that in my outer V here. And with the outer V color here, kind of just drag it up a little into your crease as well. I can't really tell if Meryl brought it down. I know she did tightline her eye, but I can't really tell if she brought it down or not. But I'm going to go ahead and bring this down a little bit. Um, just start out here where the other one ends and drag it along underneath. I'm um, just stopping about right here. Don't go all the way. Now, um, take any black eyeliner um, that you want to use. I personally would for those of you who don't have sensitive eyes, I guess, is who I'm recommending this to, um, the Milani Liquify Metallic Eyeliner in Black is really the best black eyeliner I've found out there. It's amazingly creamy, like, it's insanely creamy. It, it stays so long and it just works perfect. So if you don't have sensitive eyes, I would recommend using this. Apparently I have sensitive eyes or at least I'm allergic to something in this and it always like um, makes my eyes just kind of get a little bit puffy 
and I have a reaction to it. It's not bad enough to where sometimes if I know I'm going to need a very long lasting eyeliner, I will go ahead and use this instead. It just really makes my eyes water and makes me feel tired and I do notice my eyes get a little bit puffier. But um, my alternative is the Beauty Control Color Freeze Eyeliner in Midnight, which is their black. And this does not irritate my eyes. It is another great, this is probably my number two underneath um, Milani's. So I'm going to use this to both tightline my eye and do my waterline. And then, as always, Meryl kind of brings her eyeliner out a little bit more. I don't know if she does that or if it's her eye shape, but it just always appears that way, so I'm going to do that too. And then, after you've drawn that line straight out, just kind of fill in the part that doesn't have the black liner. and just take it to about right there, line your eye to about right there. Okay, now curl your lashes. I'm using e.l.f.'s little one dollar curler. It is the best one that I've ever tried. And it's not the only one I've ever tried. <laughs> And try, if you're watching, I do have long eyelashes without mascara on. So, leave me alone about it. <laughs> He's always saying that the only reason I have long eyelashes is because I have mascara on and the mascara makes them longer. I'm like, no, you can't, like, they have to be there in the first place. So, uh, for mascara, I'm using the Great La Maybelline Great Lash, um, the Big great lash. <laughs> I don't know. I took the label off so I can never remember what it's actually called, but I believe it's in very black, but it's the big one. It's the one with the big wand brush, whatever you want to call that, um, on it. His ears must have been burning. I just got a text from him. <laughs> okay, so this is the finished eye look. Um, once again, it's not exact uh, color-wise and stuff like that. I couldn't really get very exact, but this is basically it. Okay, so that's it. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this tutorial and I will be doing a couple more at least. Um, I'm going to do Meryl's Free Dance and then another um, request was for Tessa's Free Dance from the Olympics last year. No, year before. Oh my gosh, it's already been two years. That's crazy. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys are having a great day and I will talk to you later. Bye.